channel. Today I am not cooking. <laughs> Today instead of cooking, no cooking, we're just looking. So um is what I'm doing is I came up Ogden Canyon a couple of weeks ago with my husband and um we were trying to find the marker that Donnie and Candace had made for summer um, on their layover from coming back from the Dr. Phil show. Um, now, we found the spot. Me and my husband found the spot. We just didn't find the marker. But I don't think we were walking up far enough. So that's what I'm doing today. Um, I just wanted to put out there this video for everybody. Um, I think everybody's going to be really interested in um, knowing where this marker is. So right now I am sitting in my car um, at the base of Ogden Canyon. Um, it's called the mouth of Ogden Canyon and that's where you come up into the canyon. Um, it's a beautiful place up here. Um, so. Um, I'm just going to get out and I'm going to walk up this little trail here and show everybody around and uh, see if we can't find her marker that they made for her. So just give me a minute. Get out here. Kind of windy up here at the very base of the canyon and I'm gonna turn my computer around here I've got my little laptop that I brought with me today um, so I can do this video for you um, and we are going to walk across this trail here I think this was the original road before they built the other one going up through the canyon. And so I wanted to show everybody right down here. You can see that. That is the Ogden River. And if you drive up a couple of miles, there's a great big dam up there. So, and this is where the Ogden River comes from, is that dam. And so, um, I just wanted to show everybody uh, what a beautiful place this is. So, and like I said, you have to walk across this uh, little, I want to say it used to be an old road. It kind of looks like a trail, but I think it used to be an old road, so. But yeah, this is where they came um, to do the marker for summer. So, I just thought it would be a good idea to put a little video out here and show everybody and see if we can't find her marker. Now, um, I'm not quite sure why they would come up here um, to do a marker for her. Um, it seems kind of fishy to me. I don't know. Um, I've just always wondered why they did that. Now, when they came down here on the layover, they stopped at my mom and dad's house first. And I can see Donnie coming down and, you know, seeing my dad. And uh, because um, he doesn't have very much time left, you know. So I can see Donnie coming and, of course, you know, I'm not sure how long 
the layover was. Um, maybe an hour or two. It had to have been at least a couple of hours because um, it takes 45 minutes to get from the airport to my mom and dad's. And then another 45 minutes back. So the layover had to have been at least a couple of hours long. So unless they, I don't know, I don't know if you can go and change your tickets for a different flight. I guess they could have done that. Not really quite sure. But I wanted to uh, come up here and show you guys uh, that this is the spot that they were at. Now, the telephone pole that you can see in front of us, that's the telephone pole that is in Donnie's video on the Donald Wells YouTube channel. And it says, uh, honoring a marker for summer. And it's only about a minute long or so. But in that video, um, when they're walking back, you can tell that this is the, the pole that they're walking past. So... At least I know I'm in the right spot. <laughs> so, and I'm gonna turn around here in just a minute and show you guys where they were walking back from. So, um, <coughs> I believe that's the telephone pole is that one right here. And, now, I got online last night, and I was looking at the video that they had put on their YouTube channel, so I'm hoping to find where they put her marker. Like I said... I don't know why they would do that. That just kind of seems strange to me. I don't know. Um, usually, when somebody makes a marker for someone, um, they pretty much know they're not coming back. So... At least in my experience. Um, there's the Ogden River again. Um, I hope you guys can see that. It's so pretty today. We're supposed to reach 80 degrees today. So that's why I'm coming up here. I just wanted to wait until... Um, all the snow melted. The last time me and my husband were up here a couple of weeks ago, there was still a little bit of snow on the ground, so. I thought today would be a really good day to come up here and show everybody. It is a very beautiful place up here, though. Um... But like I said again, I don't know. I don't know why they would do that on a layover. You know, I mean, you would almost not want to miss your flight coming home, you know? So, anyways, now 
I'm turned around right here and I don't know if you guys can see that telephone pole right there but um, this is where they took the video and that's the telephone pole right there on the right and you can see the big tube coming down the canyon in the background and you can see the three poles up there on the side of the mountain on the left um, the exact same place as in Donnie and Candace video so um, there's people that have come up here and they go rock climbing on these cliffs right here and, um, I don't know if you guys can see all that, but it's a real pretty place. Um, a couple of weeks ago, Candace did change her profile picture, and uh, this is where she took it. But she's changed her profile picture back, so I don't know what the purpose of that was for but she only had her picture up there for a couple of days I don't know maybe a lot of people were giving her backlash for it or something I don't know um, you know and I don't know why they would come here to do a marker for summer um, I don't know if it's a significant place for Donnie, because as far as I know, I don't think Candace has ever been here. I mean, maybe, but I don't think so, because Donnie came down, it was in about right around the 1st of June, I want to say, um, with Josie. And then he didn't leave until um, about the 15th of October or so. Um, so... But like I said, you know, my curiosity has a hold of me, of course. Um, I just don't know why they would come up here. I mean, I can see making a marker for her around his home because that's apparently where she went missing from. You know, it would only make sense that they would do an honorary marker for her. But I don't know. This whole case has just been um, just really, really weird. You know, they act like they just don't care. I mean, the way they've been acting I mean, I'm sure they loved her, but in my opinion, I think it was probably just a mistake, or not a mistake, but a, um, um, oh gosh, what am, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, an accident, you know? If it was an accident, you know, and uh, something happened to her, I just don't understand why they didn't take her to the hospital if some, uh, something was wrong. So, um... 
I mean, that's what I would do. If something happened to my daughter, you know, and, uh, it was an accident. I don't know, maybe Donnie and Candace both were, you know, on drugs really bad, and Donnie just freaked out. Um, I don't know. It just seems kind of weird that they would come up here. But, like I said before, this morning I was looking at the video, and I don't think that I walked up far enough. So, we are going to walk up here a little further and see if we can't find her marker. Um, there was a rock right up here that I thought maybe might have been the marker, but I started looking this morning of that video that they put out and it wasn't so we're just gonna walk up just a little bit further and see what we can find the wind is blowing really bad today and I think it blows a little bit harder in the uh, up in this canyon. So let's see here. I believe this is the place right here. Now, we didn't walk any further than this, but like I said, this is about where we stopped and turned around, but I think I'm going to walk up just a little bit further and see if I can find Some people do come up here, ride their mountain bikes on this trail. Now this would probably be right around, right around, I would think that it would be but I don't know like I said I mean my husband came up here a couple of weeks ago and we could have swore the um, you know we we tried to find the marker for her um, you would think that it would just be around here because as far as I know, I mean, I've been walking up this trail now for at least 10, 15 minutes. So, oh my gosh, it's so pretty up here. You know, and I was even thinking about stopping and grabbing some flowers just in case I did find the marker. Um, you know, just out of respect. Um, I'm not trying to put Donnie and Candace down or anything for coming up here and making a marker for her. Um, I just think it's odd. You know, people 
people usually don't do that stuff. I mean, they do do markers and stuff. Um, but it's usually for, um, somebody who's gone missing or has died. Um, you know, that, in my experience, um, you know, somebody usually do a marker for somebody that they know is never coming back or coming home. Um, so I don't know, like I said, this whole case has just been really, really weird. Um, and I just don't know why they would do that. Um, you know, I'm sure there's a lot of rocks and stuff that fall down from this canyon. And, uh, you know, maybe rocks fell down and, and uh, ruined their marker. I don't know. Um, but it looks like from the video, from what I can tell, it looks like the marker would be on this side of this little pathway here. But like I said, I mean, my husband came up here and we just cannot find it. But like I said, I've walked even actually a little further up, so... Um, And I still haven't found anything. But it looks like the grass is starting to come up through. Um, if you guys can see all that. And there's a few other rocks up here that are bigger. Um, I'm going to check out. Um, And also, I don't know if you guys can see that clear up there, but we have trains running through the mountainside right there. And uh, so there's the train tracks clear up there. So that's kind of cool. Um, I don't know if you guys can see them mountains up there. But oh my gosh, this canyon is beautiful. Yes, very, very beautiful canyon. And the river. Um, if anybody ever comes to Utah that hasn't been here, um, try fishing our rivers. The Ogden River, it's a really good uh, place to fish. I've uh, brought some awesome fish out of that creek right there. Um, I was up here one year, probably about 25 years ago, and I had just brought my kids up here. And we went fishing for the day, and I caught a three-pound three trout out of this river. So, let's see. Oh my goodness. Here's some more rocks, but it doesn't look like any of the rocks that are in uh, that video. So, you know, I'm just not quite sure. Um, now, in a few minutes, up around this bend here, it goes kind of, there's like a little uh, residential area up here so I don't know if they would come this far or not but like I said I haven't um, I haven't found the rock where they put her marker I really do wish I could um, so we're just gonna walk up here just a little further more and see what we can see you never know I don't see them walking up this far, but you never know. But like I said, it was on a layover. 
I, I still don't understand why they would do that. It's just so, it just seems so weird to me is all, you know. And I'm sure a lot of other people are thinking, why would they do that? The thought just keeps running through my head also. So. Uh, here's a few more rocks. Um, my goodness. Yeah. We're just going to walk just a little ways more up here, I think. But like I said, uh, I don't know why they would come up here and do a marker for her, especially on a layover. Coming back from the Dr. Phil show. I just keep asking myself, why? Like I said, I can see them coming up here on a layover. In the world. Huh. Looks like somebody lost a, I don't know, a pink blankie or, I don't know what it is. Huh. Over there. Huh. That was kind of weird. Somebody end up losing something there. Looks like maybe a little shawl or something for somebody. Hmm. Alrighty. Well, my goodness. Yeah, I've been walking up here quite a ways now. And still, I can't find that rock. It's so weird. Like I said, unless Donnie climbed up the side of the mountain back a little ways, um, I could see that happening, I guess, to make a marker. Um, I don't know. It's just really weird. And like I said, just right up here is where it starts. Um, there's a little bridge right there. I don't know if you can see it through the trees. But that's where the people cross over, and uh, this is where they, their homes are back up in there a little bit. So, um, yeah, my goodness. Let's see what we got up here. There's another rock with some rocks. But in the video, it looks like there's like three, two big rocks piled on top of each other. And then the smaller rock that they had made the marker for summer. So, like I said, it's a very beautiful place, but. Yeah, I don't think they came up this far. I really don't. Um, so, we are just going to turn around and walk back. <coughs> <coughs> like I said, it's a very beautiful place up here. And uh, I really envy the people that have cabins and homes up here. Um, of course, unless the dam up above it would end up breaking, 
then I don't think I would like living up here, but, <laughs> um, yeah, so, um, I think, uh, this is going to be the end of my video. I just wanted to show everybody around and see if there was any way that we could find the marker that they put up here for her, and like I said, I don't understand it, but there's a lot of stuff that Donnie does that I don't understand. So, anyways, I'm going to turn this around here a little bit. And um, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who came out and watched my video today. And um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. And hit that thumbs up button for me and ring the bell so you guys get my notifications. And um, I will be doing uh, um, um, another video probably later on today um, just on my, you know, for cooking. So like I said, you know, today, at least this morning, <laughs> we're not doing any cooking. We're just looking. So, you all have a wonderful day.